Inner joins, formerly called equijoins, only show us result sets where the two tables have an equal or an exact match specified in the fields in the on clause. John Marshbank, having a null location ID, would be omitted from any inner join that uses the location ID field. To view all records, including the ones that don't match, we need to explore the use of outer joins. Query both tables by joining them in the fashion you saw in the last lab with an inner join. We know when we query just the employee table we get 12 records, but after we do this join we only see 11 records in our result set. This is because with an inner join it only shows records where both tables match. What if we wanted to see all employees regardless if they have a matching location ID in the location table or not? If you want to find matching and non-matching information from two tables, you need to use what's known as an outer join. To demonstrate this technique a little more clearly, we're going to put both tables on the same line after the from clause. I have one table on the left of the join and another table on the right of the join. Now which table do I want to become the dominant table, the one that should always show its records? If I want the table on the left, to always show its records even if it doesn't find a match on the right, then I'm going to type the word left outer join. Run this query and we get John Marshbank in this result set. The nulls you see next to John Marshbank's name means no records were found in the location table. We may also remember we have four locations Seattle, Boston, Chicago, Spokane. There is actually one location that has no employees. Notice Chicago does not appear in this result. Well what if we weren't doing an employee report but a location report? We want to see all locations even if there is no employee associated with that location. We would have to use an outer join but the table on the right becomes the dominant table and you type the word right outer join and notice two things. Number one, we have Chicago with no employees, and now your result set is ordered by the location's location ID. There is one other type of join that allows both tables to show all records, and that is a full outer join, which was at one time called a right-left join. I execute this, and we get all employees, even if they have no location, and all locations, even if there is no employee working there. It's time for Lab 3.2, Skill Check 1. Open a query window to the JProCo database, write a query that shows the list of all grants and the first and last names of the employees who acquired them. If the grant was not found by an employee, we still want to see a null first and last name and the grant to show up. Show the first name, last name, grant name, and amount fields. That should be four fields in your result set. When you are done with your exercise, your screen should resemble figure 3.16. Time for Lab 3.2, Skill Check 2. Write a query so that you see all employees and list of grants that they have found. If they have found no grants, a null should appear next to their name. Show first name, last name, grant name, and amount field. When you are done with your exercise, your screen should resemble the figure 3.17 to the right. That finishes up Lab 3.2 on Outer Joins. Let's see what else Outer Joins are capable of in Lab 3.2, The Points to Ponder.